Hello. Hey, Lauren. Welcome, everybody, to our Facebook Live. Happy Thursday. Uh, if you are a pizza lover, and let's be honest, who is not, um, you've come to the right place today. Stay tuned to learn why this Better For You pizza is a real dinner time, family dinner time game changer. And we're giving away some amazing prizes today. Comment to say hello and let us know that you're here. And uh, let us ask you what your favorite types of pizza and pizza toppings are. So comment away. Um, I'm Lauren, I'm from Mom's Meat, and today I'm joined by Alex, the CEO, founder, and the namesake of Alex's Awesome Sourdough Pizza. Welcome, Alex. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, before we uh, get started, I just wanted to share a little bit about Mom's Meat. Um, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, we're a large online community of moms, dads, grandparents, caretakers all passionate about raising healthy and happy families. And we've got some great resources. One of our most unique is our Mom Ambassador Program where you can sample Better For You products for free and then share your feedback with your mom friends and the companies that we work with. Um, if you're not part of our community yet, head on over to momsuite.com. We'd love to have you and uh, love to have you uh, get the chance to try some Better For You products for free. Um, well, this event today is brought to you by Alex's Awesome Sourdough Pizza, um, and Alex's is the maker of the artisanal organic sourdough pizza, um, so definitely something unique. So make sure to uh, give them a follow on Instagram at uh, Awesome Sourdough and on Facebook mm -hmm. at Alex's Awesome Sourdough. Um, so during this event, we'll be talking with Alex. There will also be some representatives from the Alex's team responding to any of your questions or comments. So anything you want to know about this uh, amazing brand, amazing product, post away, um, and they'll be answering your questions. And uh, as always, we've got some amazing prizes that uh, we're excited to give away. So I'll let Alex tell you a little bit more about them. Sure thing. Uh, we're excited to give away three pizza parties to lift the mood during these crazy times. and. Each winner will get five free coupons um, for a fun, socially distant celebration. Um, and as well, we'll give you a jar of our heirloom sourdough starter, um, some organic flour, uh, and a guide. So you can make some really delicious, gut-friendly crackers and breads, uh, throw your own pizza party, um, and, and I'll be there to help every step of the way, too. I'll give you my direct contact information. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, you are so right. I feel like in these crazy times, we need, you know, excuses to uh, to celebrate and enjoy our pizza. So this is a right. wonderful opportunity um, to try Alex's. Um, so if you are interested in winning one of these prizes, let us know in the comment what your favorite pizza topping is and uh, what kind of pizza do you like? Are you more of a white pizza person or, or red pizza person? So we want to hear from you. Alex, how about you? What are your favorite toppings? I like it all. You know, <laughs> I, I like it all. I like simplicity, and I think that's kind of a theme that we like to go for. Just kind of less is more. Yes. Um, I don't think you can beat uh, fresh basil pesto. I love a good pesto pizza. Very summery. Yeah, I, I'm the same way. Um, anything green, really, so broccoli, but especially basil. Mm. Um, I mean, I, I'm just, I put pesto in everything. It's it's life okay. for me. So <laughs> I was very happy to see that you guys have a sunflower pesto um, variety available. So um, really excited to see that. But yeah, everybody out there who's watching, let us know your favorite pizza toppings. If you're more basic or you like to jazz things up um, with lots of different toppings, let us know. And uh, again, comment, like, share this video for your chance to win. And we'll be announcing winners of those uh, pizza parties on Monday. Awesome. Well, I just want to talk to you a little bit more about Alex's Awesome Sourdough, this amazing brand. So um, their products are the first USDA organic and non-GMO verified pizza on the market. And they're made with 100% organic artisan sourdough crust for easier digestion. Um, no added sugar, 100% of the cheese is from grass-fed cows. And um, with that sourdough crust piece, you get something that's lower glycemic, lower in gluten, um, and has more available vitamins. So clean label galore. Mm -hmm. You're hired, Lauren. That was yeah. beautiful. <laughs> Well, the sourdough piece, I mean, it, it's so unique. And, um, you know, I, I know a lot of our moms are friends, are uh, fans of sourdough. So um, this is going to be something that's definitely appealing to them. Great. All right. So Alex was kind enough um, to send me a couple of these, uh, these pizzas. So 
I, um, I prepared one. I'm having my late lunch with you all today. So I'm in my dining room and uh, I'm excited to try this pizza. So um, I have this, have this in the oven for about 10 minutes or so. Just, I like it very crispy. So I did it maybe a little bit longer, mm -hmm. um, but I'm excited to try this. It looks delicious. And uh, all right, here we go. Awesome. And, and I can give you a little bit of background of kind of the impetus for starting the business. Um, and but first off, I want to really appreciate this opportunity. And thanks to all the moms that have been so enthusiastic over the past few days. And, and um, we're all very grateful. Um, but um, really, this starts with the fact that I personally don't digest meat very well. Um, in 2017, I had some autoimmune conditions uh, related to diet. And when I discovered that I digest sourdough bread um, much better than commercially made breads, I really felt inclined to share the gift of sourdough. And this was a recommendation actually from a doctor. Um, so I started baking and I really felt a difference. Um, and it was really profound for me. Um, so, uh, you know, the, the, we, we set out to create a platform um, because sourdough is not only, as you mentioned, uh, easier to digest, it's lower in gluten, um, it's lower glycemic. Um, and at the end of the day, we want to eat pizza, but also feel good, right? And, um, you know, growing up, I was eating a lot of processed junk food. And we feel like it's really important to offer a feel good option to the family so kids can grow up eating uh, and families can enjoy eating delicious food that also makes them feel great. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, on top of that, we're big proponents of organics as you alluded to. So we work with small family farms um, in California and we source um, you know, some of the best cheese you can get from grass-fed pasture-raised cows, happy cows. Um, and um, you know, our flour is freshly milled as well coming from California. So really everything that we do um, has intention and integrity. Um, and I think you'll feel the difference. Mm -hmm. Well, well uh, I can already taste point? the difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's really delicious. Um, the crust I'm, I'm in love with. So, um, I mean, I, I love sourdough as well. So, um, I mean, I've never tasted anything like this before, never a crust like this before. So it's delicious. Yeah. And, and the difference, um, you know, commercially made bread um, and crust for that matter um, is usually made with one yeast strain that you can find in a, in a grocery, mm -hmm. uh, in a grocery aisle, um, this powdered yeast strain and, usually ferments for about one hour mm -hmm. uh, with sourdough you're using a wild culture as a what will pass out for the gift and this is various different uh, yeast and lactic acid bacteria like the mm -hmm. beneficial gut friendly bacteria that you see in things like kombucha and yogurt mm -hmm. Other health foods have been using these cultures um, and you ferment for usually around 24 hours and with that longer fermentation process with sourdough you get delicious flavor building, and then you get all those health benefits. Um, mm -hmm. The way that we like to say is that it's actually pre-digesting the dough for you. So mm -hmm. it's in your stomach, if that makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I know that, um, you know, all of us who love pizza, but have, you know, over years just experienced or, you know, people that we know have said, you know, they love it, but, you know, digestive system wise, it just wreaks havoc on, you know. Totally on them. So, um, no, that's wonderful to hear. Um, and you know, for me, I, I think I told you before that, um, my family and I do pizza nights more than I would like to admit more than I, <laughs> um, if I'm really honest more than I'd like to admit. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, in, in the past, I think I would just feel kind of guilty for, you know, doing these delivery pizzas and, you know, um, ordering unhealthy options for them. Totally. Yeah. I mean, you know, we've, we've all been bloated before eating pizza. Um, you know, I like to joke that you can run a marathon after eating our pizza, even though there's probably better foods out there if you're going to run a marathon. But, <laughs> yeah, um, give it a shot. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, this is great. I would not feel any guilt, you know, um, you know, based on how clean label this is and, you know, how delicious it is. I would feel no qualms about, you know, serving this to my family. Um, on family pizza night and um you know especially for being 100 percent organic the price i mean it's so affordable 8.99 to 9.99 for pizza so um you know that's that's really amazing as well 
Um, well, I'm already seeing some of these um, comments that there's a lot of uh, envious moms who <laughs> want to try this pizza like I got to do today. Um, so all you moms out there, head over to momsmeat.com um, on our coupon center and you can clip your $2 off coupon um, to try Alex's awesome sourdough pizza. And um, they are available at Sprouts nationally. Um, and the Fred Meyer and Whole Foods in Northern California. And um, mm -hmm. for those moms that are in Northern California, um, their pizza's on sale at Whole Foods right now. So make sure to take advantage of uh, that offer. Yep, and Instacart too is a great resource if you yes. want to find yeah. yep. Um, well, to learn more about Alex's Awesome Sourdough, please head over onto their website, um, awesomesourdough.com. And then, as I said before, follow them on Instagram, at Awesome Sourdough. You've got a beautiful Instagram uh, page, and I was checking it out, all the, the beautiful shots. So um, everybody head on over and, uh, and follow Alex's there. All right, Alex. So I have a, a few more questions, and uh, I'm also looking at some from the audience. What you know, our moms are curious to know about the brand and the product. So, um, just a couple questions I want to ask you. Yeah. Tell me more about this handmade process. So every single pizza is is handmade. Yeah. Um, yeah. Believe it or not, um, the so one of our team members who runs our production facility is a master pizza maker from Italy, um, and he moved here to help. Um, scale handmade artisan pizzas to um, uh, kind of taking the restaurant and bringing it to the freezer aisle of, uh, of the grocery store, so to speak. And we have a team of five to 10 pizziolos at a given time, literally hand stretching pizzas, you know, flour in the air, um, real artisanal, uh, really bringing the art to the pizza making, which is mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and tell us more about San Francisco. So location-wise, best place for sourdough bread, best place for sourdough? You know, it's kind of a myth. I mean, of course, there's a lot of history here um, with the gold rush um, is really what brought it, um, mainly because it preserves really well. So when miners were going out for days in the woods, they could throw some sourdough in their bag and it, it, it would just taste really good after a few days. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sourdough is great. It's huge, hugely popular in Europe. Um, and, you know, we have a lot of customers on the East Coast that love it too. And you can bake it really anywhere. So mm -hmm. um, it's more of a myth that sourdough is the best place for it, but it does have that, that history. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I grew up on it living here. Yep. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the responses? I'm, I'm really curious um, because I would love to, as I said, have this from family, but what are some of the responses that you've heard from, uh, from kids? after they've tried uh, the pizza? So, so we've done a lot of demoing um, and you know it's been overwhelming. I mean, I think one of the greatest moments for me uh, in the founding story is when a kid uh, jumped up and said, oh, I love this pizza. And like a super <laughs> I remember at one demo and then all these kids just started flocking and yeah. we realized that uh, you know, this is totally kid approved. And mm -hmm. you know, we set out to create a product for the family. And mm -hmm. We want a product that obviously the parents can can love, so it needs to have that kind of premium artisan flavor. But you also want something that's widely applicable, and you know, kids love cheese pizza. But we found that they also like our pesto. So, um, yeah, we're thrilled. Yeah, well, that, that's my next step because I'm trying to bring my my children on board the you know the pesto train. So maybe that would be a good way to try it. <laughs> I haven't gotten them get to get it to like the like pesto yet, just because it's you know it's stronger. But maybe this pizza is the best way to do it. Yeah. Um, any fun topping ideas? I mean, I know you said you're you're you've uh, you know you're pretty basic with toppings, but any that you've heard from customers or fans that uh, that stand out to you? You know, for me personally, I like to slip salad into everything that I eat. I think I just get it from my own mom. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, typically what I like to do is is get a cheese pizza or a pesto pizza. And I'll toss a salad. You can, you know, make a Caesar salad or you know, even like some really good store bought Caesar, and just toss that. Um, or even arugula with some mm -hmm. I've never heard in olive oil, balsamic. Um, and when the pizza comes out, let it cool for a little bit, and mm -hmm. then just pop the pizza with that. Um, you know, it's a knockout. Yeah. Uh, best of both worlds for me. Yeah. No, I love that idea of trying to incorporate vegetables, um, greens, anything you can, especially with totally. your kids' pizza. What's your personal feeling about pineapple on pizza? Are you yay or nay? I'm, I'm all for it. 
Yeah. I, <laughs> I don't think there could be any restrictions to pizza. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, get your serving of fruit. <laughs> yeah. No, absolutely. No, I know sometimes people are divided on that, that pineapple issue. So what about yourself? <laughs> are you on it or? What's that? Are you, are you for it or against it? No, I tried it. I'm not a huge fan, um, mm. but everyone cool, else I know right? loves it and swears by it. So yeah, well, each day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, tell us about some of the other varieties that you have and um, any new products that you have in development right now. Yeah, totally. So, um, you know, our core three has, has been cheese, our mozzarella pizza, our sunflower seed pesto pizza, uh, which is nut free. And, um, mm -hmm. uh, and then our mushroom pizza. Um, and, you know, those are all doing extremely well. We're really excited to be launching our first plant-based option, um, which mm -hmm. is uh, a vegan cheese that uh, is coming from BioLife in partnership with them. And, you know, we tested 40 different cheeses over a long period of time, and we're very excited with the meltability of this product. Um, I mean, it's absolutely delicious. And, you know, it's gonna be in select stores in about a week, so. Okay. Um, really excited to expand the platform of sourdough. And um, I think we have four really good items right now. And then yeah. there are some other uh, big announcements that we're going to make in the coming months on a, a new um, cup product line. And just, you know, you have to follow us on Instagram for that one. <laughs> There's your cue, everybody. Um, well, I just want to also show you the packaging. If you do um, head out to the store to look for um, this amazing product, I'm going to show you what the packaging looks like for the um, the mozzarella that I just tried. Um, I'm going to try to get a good. Looks look great. Like yeah. That. yeah. Yeah. So it's really bright and fun, and mm -hmm. um, and that's what we're going for. It really does stand out on the shelf. We're the bright yellow, purple, and green colors. Yep. Yep. Can't miss it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody, um, let us know, again, what you found most interesting about our chat today. Any questions that you have for the Alex's awesome sourdough team um, yeah. about their, their pizza, about the different varieties they have, and their mission and their process. Um, it's also interesting. So post away and um, representatives from Alex will uh, be responding to, to some of your questions. Um, and keep on sharing and liking this video, of course, and you know, let us know about your pizza preference toppings and uh, topping preferences and if you're white or red pizza fam. Um, again, head to awesomesourdough.com. Um, give Alex's a follow on Instagram at awesome sourdough and uh, on Facebook at Alex's Awesome Sourdough. And um, go on over to our, our website, um, momsmeat.com. Check out that coupon center, clip that $2 off coupon, and uh, try Alex's uh, for yourself and your family. Um, well, thank you so much, Alex, for joining us today. Um, and thank you for telling mm -hmm. us about the brand and the process and um, for sending these pizzas for me to try. So um, I'm going to finish my lunch now and then uh, maybe have to hide the other one from my family <laughs> for later. But it, it really is. It's truly delicious. And, um, you know, we're, we're so happy you were able to join us today and, uh, and chat with all our moms. That was a great time and, and really appreciate the opportunity. And everybody, um, our mom ambassadors are actually sampling this product as we speak. So head on over to uh, momsmeat.com, check out the product review page and see what uh, real moms like you who got the chance to try this product thought about it. Um, and of course, remember to keep liking, sharing, commenting for your chance to win uh, one of the pizza parties and we'll announce our winners on Monday. So bye everybody. Happy Thursday. Thank you for joining us. And thanks again to Alex. Thank you.